Hey, it's Cami. I wanted to share with you a little bit about some products that you might be interested in. So, first of all, you cannot share brushes with oil paint and acrylic paint. So if you're going to do oil paints or you have oil paint brushes, you cannot use them for acrylic paint um, and go back and forth between the two paints. So you must get your own set of paint brushes that you keep specifically for acrylic paints. I have found these uh, a brush set online that is a really nice quality set. Um, it gives you a little bit of everything to try as far as different sizes of round brushes, a few different flat brushes, an angled flat, and even my favorite, a couple of filbert brushes. So I've done other videos on my filberts, but that's that's great. So start with your start with um, brushes. Um, you heard me dropping them into a jar. I like to keep them upright um, after I wash them and clean them and um, pat them dry, reshape them, and I put them in the jar. So that's that. Let me show you the kind of paint that I recommend for somebody going from who's used to oils and maybe starting out going with acrylics. I recommend um, a professional grade paint because oil paints have a different viscosity than acrylics and the heavy body paints, um, Golden also makes a beautiful um, brand of, or also makes a nice heavy body paint. Um, the Liquitex heavy body has a viscosity that mimics oils. They're student grade paints. You're not going to get the same feel um, off of the brush. So I recommend these. And also they're going to come in familiar names to you. The, the higher the grade paint, the more familiar the names like yellow ochre and raw umber, burnt umber, cerulean blue, lamp black, titanium white, all of the, the colors that you're familiar with, um, you'll find in professional grade acrylic paints. So there's that. Um, as I mean, you know, you can paint on the same kind of canvas that you would do for oils um, or acrylics. Acrylics work on the same thing. Um, these uh, panels are kind of fun. They come as a flat panel or they have the, the uh, edge around them, the gallery edge around them. So you can hang them up and you just paint the edge and you don't have to frame them. Those are nice. Also, this one was a game changer for me. So I recommend these Master Sense. Here's the, the label. It's a paint palette. So what you have in here in this paint palette, it's like a, a airtight container, plastic container. You can tell mine's used. They come in two sizes. So this is the smaller one. It's, mm, I don't know exactly, probably seven inches by eight inches. And there's a bigger one. Let me show you the bigger one. Very handy for lots of colors or for bigger paintings. They come with this heavy duty paper. So first of all, the original set will come with a sponge. Um, once the sponge gets gross, I throw it away and I'll just use paper towels. Um, and then it comes with this very thick palette paper. You get it wet, you get the sponge wet, you soak the paper for about 20 or 30 minutes in warm water, you pour it out, squeeze out the sponge, and you put it back together and everything is damp. And the beauty of that is that it keeps your paints great and keeps them from drying out and keeps them for up to two weeks in the container. So oil painters typically are used to being able to take their time and think about things and um, the next step and they mix a bunch of color and that color potentially would be good through the time that they're painting. Well, with acrylic paints, you don't have that luxury. I tell people you have to paint like your pants are on fire because, and it's a joke, honestly, but um, 
it's a different mental shift once you get that paint on your paintbrush and onto the canvas it um, will dry way more quickly than you're used to if you're used to oil paints so I say paint like your pants are on fire once you get it on the canvas so there's that um, but there are things that you can do to slow down the drying of the paint and one of them is slow down the drying of the paint on your palette I highly recommend this. This was a game changer for me when I started using it because it allowed me to paint larger paintings and um, spread my painting time. If I only had a small chunk of painting time each night, I didn't have to start all over again and remix paint colors. Here is a gloss, medium, and varnish. So uh, gloss means the finish of the paint. So they come in matte finishes and satin finishes, just like paint at the hardware store. But this um, is a medium and varnish. Um, so you can mix it just like medium with, like linseed oil or a medium with your oils. Um, you can make washes with this paint and it will have the same kind of viscosity that your oils would. Um, you can also make washes with water, but sometimes they don't like they don't layer as well as using a medium. So there's a little bit of a learning curve with that, but I highly recommend the medium if you're used to painting with oils. And lastly, for washing your brushes, um, I enjoy painting with um, a jar. Let me show you. I'll set a jar up with soapy water and a cup that's different so I know which is which um, with plain water or rinse water. So I have, I just put like, oh, like a half a teaspoon or less of the soap in here and fill a jar halfway with paint, with water. And that's how I wash my brushes. And then I have the rinse water to rinse my paint. Um, other supplies that you may not necessarily need to buy, but are really nice to have. Um, I love washcloths to use with, um, oh, that's nice, to use with my paint. So um, I just use them and then I would run them through the wash. And another thing to use that's handy is a spritzer bottle. So just fill it with water. I use this, sometimes I'll spritz it on the canvas and sometimes I'll spritz it on my palette if I feel like the tops of the paint is getting too um, cap over and dry. So you don't have to purchase that. Maybe you have a, an old body spray bottle, that's what this is, that um, you're done with, but you can reuse it. There are tons of different additives that you can use in acrylic paint to get different finishes. The impasto and the um, just metallic looks and uh, different um, grits and fibers and different things that you can stir in. Um, so have fun. Acrylic paint is a lot of fun to play with. Um, I love it. Once you get used to the drying factor and how quickly it dries, you'll have a blast with it. I promise. It's so much fun. Enjoy so. these tips. Please uh, message me if you have any questions or anything specific that you'd like to know. I'd love to be here for you because it's my joy to make painting more accessible for you and have it be a joy for you. Have a great evening, day, whatever time of day it is. I hope it's blessed.